We are in Adobe Audition today, and I'm going to show you how to create a template for your podcast so you don't have to redo the intro and the outro music every time you record a podcast. Hey everyone, my name is Mike Murphy, and for every episode that I record, I have a little sound effect in the beginning, I have a little intro music, and I have outro music. It's the same for every podcast episode. So when I record a new episode, I don't want to have to go recreate those files every single time. You know, I have keyframes in on the intro music so it lowers the volume. I don't want to have to redo that every time. So Adobe Audition makes it very easy to record, to export a template that you can use over and over again. So every single time that you record a new episode, you only have to worry about recording your podcast episode, putting it into the template, exporting it as an MP3 file, and you're done. Let me show you, let's jump into Adobe Audition. I'll show you exactly how to do it. It could not be easier, but it is worth doing. It's a big time saver. So here we go. We're in Adobe Audition here. I just recorded episode number 26. And you can see here, I keep mine very simple. Some people probably have more elaborate sound effects. You might have interviews. You might have things you have to do. But you can do this when you have your... When you have set pieces in your podcast that never change, a template is always a good idea. It's, a template's a good idea in any program, but Adobe Audition makes it very easy. So you can see here, this top track, track one here, is my actual episode. So typically what I do is, I usually have a little piece in the beginning with a little blurb, some little quote or something that I put in the beginning, I cut that, and then I usually have a second piece here, and that's my main podcast, okay? So I usually line it up here with, I have this little keyboard intro here. 26, the repurpose show. And then this bottom track we all know that here, this light the content variety. is That's king. The music that I use to go in. And you can see here, I have it keyframed so the music fades in. And then the volume goes down here and it fades out. I don't want to have to recreate that for every episode. Even though it might not take me very long, it's set the way I want it. So... The only thing that you might have to change each episode is just the timing might not match up. You just might have to move things a little bit, but it's not a big deal. So, I have everything the way I want it. I have a little outro music here that I use, and everything looks good. So, what I'm going to do, typically what I would do when I'm done is I would export as a multi-track mix down the entire session. This is how you make an MP3 file for your finished podcast. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is very simply in the same menu, export the session as a template. So what we're going to do here, I'll keep this at the default location, which is on your internal drive here. It's in your user folder. I would just call it something like Mike 2016. I think I already have one saved from earlier, but it says it already exists. Let's overwrite it. I'm going to say yes. So now you have a template. Now, the only thing that you might bug you a little bit is that it's actually going to save this track one so it is going to save this episode 26 i actually like to keep it because it gives me a reminder that i like that i need to cut the beginning and the middle it's no big deal for me to x to to delete that with a new one so let's just see here i'm going to quit adobe audition okay let's open back edition again so we have a blank file here i'm going to open up that most recent show here Let's start a new let's start a new multi-track session, okay? So now we're going to show, you know, you do it just like normal where you want to save it, but here in template we're going to choose mic 2016. It already knows cuz it's going to take all the settings from that other file, open it, and now just like that it already exists. It's cuz I tried it. So just like that it has the entire template already done. So here's my track Episode 26, all I need to do is record a new episode, drop it in the, drop it in there just like that, and I have a finished podcast. So that is how you create a template in Adobe Audition. It could not be easier. I highly recommend it. It's a big time saver, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.